the love of <laughs> hey, hey, screw you. Hi. <sighs> News has come in. Apparently, Miss Addie's little committee didn't expect that sudden show of backbone. It doesn't seem like the unity is going to bother us anytime soon. We will finally be able to move on to some more productive activities. Fewer circuses, more bread, that kind of thing. There's no telling if Crucy won't crank up the pace again. What's the word on the ancestral treasure thing? Sadly, nothing new. The trail's gone completely cold. And the Summer Estate? Ellie sent another batch of inquiries. The dragon had mentioned Aralan, so that's where we pulled first. Just so you know, that's a whole other web of extravagant connections. Tracing one dependency after another, we've managed to dig up an interesting lead. A lead? We received word of a certain interesting painting being exhibited in Armalisse at Pinacoteca da Candelaria. And the curator was kind enough to part with it. This... this sounds like a pricey agreement. Ah, <sighs> but what is one more bill in the shambling pile of terribleness? Now. Hmm. Well, I think it would be prudent just to show it to you. Come. That's it? That's the painting? Yep. And it tells us... what, exactly? <sighs> if you just stay quiet for a fraction of a second. Now, the painting shows a sea landscape as seen from some unspecified island vantage. It's not an imaginary piece of terrain, either. See this? The shoreline matches with the Argent Coast, a region on the border of Rashtil and Armalisse. So what, you may ask? Well, I'd like to draw your attention to this little stamp here. That's the symbol of House Lauren! Indeed it is. The painter's signature, or so I was told. But that means... That the painter was Lauren, in all likelihood. And we have a name. Fallon Galar Lauren, the Prince in Chambers. An unfulfilled artist and an infamous recluse. Brother to the King. A man who never took permanent residence in Ascalia. I see. You're saying that he painted this from the Lauren Summer Estate. Naturally, it's a stretch. A cute piece of conjecture, even. But the elements fit. With Crucy going into overload, we don't really have the luxury to ignore this. But we also have no guarantee that the treasure is there. Nope. Regardless, Argent Coast it is. Griffith? Sire. Let's move. <laughs> now, aren't you forgetting about something, kiddos? Um. Your objectives! Ah! Before you rush out seeking white rabbits, hear me out. Okay, that's all. Shoo! This is the place? The environment seems to match. Truthfully, so does the interior. <laughs> yeah, my family seems to leave plenty of mess behind. Is this the treasure vault? Certainly looks the part. Approach it carefully, young master. There may yet be traps awaiting. Could that be it? The end of our woes? Ah, uh, do you see a way to open it, Griffith? Let us see. My, what a stereotypical situation. Just what am I supposed to say, huh? I wouldn't do that if I were you. 
Well, did that come out right, Sir K? Who? What? Do we know each other? Each other? No, but I know you. Uh huh? You trespass upon Lauren property. You shall identify yourself this moment. Yes, yes, drama. Always stoking the drama. But I hate drama. Tell me, has nobody told you that silence is gold? All these months and you still haven't taught your guard dog not to yap needlessly. Some authority you have. Not a foul word more. You are insulting the ruler of this land. <laughs> Am I? Is he? Perhaps you were a little bit too bold in calling me a trespasser. I am Karen Lorne of Estir, heir apparent to Escalia, inheritor of Rashtil Expanse, and by blood, the last scion of House Lauren. What? Wh what kind of nonsense is this? A dramatic surprise, check. Now step aside. A treasure of my ancestors awaits me. What? Just what the hell is your problem? Explain yourself now! No. I owe you no explanation. The world doesn't work like that. You do well to finally learn that little lesson, Lord K. Not a step further! <laughs> You'd raise your hand against your king? Enough with this! I do not know what deception you are trying to weave here, but you are no king of mine. My liege stands right here with me. I serve K of House Lauren. <sighs> We just can't avoid this little standoff, can we? All right, have it your way. On with the grand reveals. One, you are way too loud. Two, you are starting to greatly annoy me. Three, your liege is no more Lauren than you are. And you are, might I remind you, a lowly servant. And so is he. What? I know your precious sisters have been busy messing with the past, digging up scraps left behind by their betters. They did a decent job, but they were misinformed at core. And you know this how, exactly? The heirloom script of House Lauren. Remember that? Riddle me this. How did you obtain it? As I recall, Gwen received it anonymously through a noble from... Uh... From Estir, that's right. But let's make one thing clear. It wasn't a gift, nor a gesture of sympathy. My family has spent ages in exile. Unable to exercise their God-given right, all due to that ridiculous debt. Unable to rule, unable to act, hiding behind the names and borders of foreign kingdoms. The humiliation! Did you think, perhaps, that you would accomplish something? That you had stumbled upon some delicious riddle from the past? The treasure story has always been an open secret among members of the house, and a silly one at that. An untouched treasure, in this day and age, a likely tale. Imagine my surprise when I learned that there was Pretender in Rashtil, one all too willing to chase that wild goose and desperate enough to take risks against the furtive Union. And yet, in an even better turn of events, the treasure turned out to exist after all. All it took was to watch from afar, nudge you once or twice, and move in at the right moment. Minimum effort, maximum payback. How nice of you to do all the work for me. The debt will be paid, the kingdom will be reclaimed. Glory to House Lauren, at last. But you're not making sense. I am the last Lauren. Sense, sense, sense! Still moaning about this. I told you already. You are but a servant. See, once upon a time, there were these crusades. The crusades again? Yes, confusing business to say the least. A time when House Lauren was betrayed by his allies. When Lord Amar and Shedu two worthless excuses of nations, raised Escalia to the ground. The outrage! And worst of all, the rabble rose against him too, his own subjects, just like that. Duke Martell of House Lauren was a madman! He had convinced himself that he was an elf and cared little for anything else. He was the king! Right or wrong, his will was to be obeyed! Fortunately for your dumb little head, one man understood that way better than you do. One man put his own fatness and well-being to save his king. Huh? When the armies came calling, the Duke chose to flee in secrecy to his holdings in S-tier. Gods don't bleed after all, do they? Neither do elves, if stories are to be believed. Alas, nobody told his enemies that. 
they craved his head. And one man, Martel's favorite servant, gave them just that. Believing in his lord and house, he proposed a plan. He took his insignia, his robes, and... See where I'm going with this? <sighs> I can't hear you. They switched places. Correct. You are nothing more than a descendant of a servant. How does it feel knowing that you've been living a lie? Well, I don't care either way. And truthfully, why would I? Commoner. Young master, this is utter nonsense. Why should we believe him? His words are no proof. Hmm, is that so? Does your lord share this opinion? Have you never wondered why everything seems so ill-fitting? Not your time, not your place, perhaps? Looking like the old king. Your smell, it's different than what I remember. You wear a familiar name, Manling. I thought you'd be taller. But the Anam knows not of you. Bunker. What mask lies upon thee? Uh, black hair, beard. Do not fight for a legacy that you should not be part of. I'm not a Lauren, am I? And so the truth finally dawns, with remarkably little drama, too. Just be so kind and don't burst into tears right now, body nonsense. And you, Griffith? How does it feel to be oath-bound to a lie? All your life in vain, serving the son of a dirty commoner. Where's honor in that? <sighs> this changes nothing. Jeez, so stubborn. Now, though, let your king pass. Never! Let him pass, Griffith. Young master! I said, let him pass. <laughs> About time to wisen up. But... I... <clears throat> yes. Ah, <sighs> finally, my birthright. <laughs> you know, when I heard that some commoner managed to usurp Iscalia, I was furious. An outsider in the halls of Castle Lorin. Unacceptable. But you surprised me. You took it upon yourself to pay off the debt. You cleaned the place up. And somehow, despite being crapped on from every possible direction, you moved onward. A premium pawn, wouldn't you say? <sighs> <clears throat> oh? We went through this already. I may be a patient man, but... Know your damn place! Do you really think I'd come here unprepared? There is a whole regiment of men from the Lesser Kingdoms outside, just waiting for a dumb move like this. Hardly mercs, the kind that itches to stab a fluffy bunny. So don't. Yes, that's right. Why throw everything away? Treasure these last moments of personal glory. What do you mean? Well, as the true king, it is in my divine right to take what is mine, no? Iskalia awaits. In fact, you may go now. Someone needs to make the preparations. Maybe get a scribe to write down the event. We shall call it Return of the King. No, wait, that's too corny. Go nevertheless. This... I... Sire. Go, I shan't be long. Griffith told me you'd be here. He also said you asked him to leave you alone. That, by the way, was two days ago. <sighs> How long are you planning to sulk here? <sighs>
Isn't that what you wanted? To leave this place behind? I guess what I want and what I need are two different things right now. I wonder, did Father know? Or at the very least, how much? Why didn't he tell us? Was all of this just a prank for the sake of the past? Of course not! No matter what, Dad always believed in you. How can you say such things? There are no heroes, Ellie. We were just stand-ins and meat shields for the true heir. It was always meant to be a doomed endeavor. And now, we have nothing. Not even a place to call home. Ah, right. Slight correction, we do have something. A huge debt with no end in sight. Because that's still on us. <laughs> You're wrong. We do have a home. This is our home. Ellie, please stop. Ugh, just get a grip already. Ellie. We're a family. There's you, there's me, there's Gwen, and there's Griffith. When did that change? Why does it matter what our name is? All these people here? You gave them something real. You gave them homes and lives. They came and you welcomed them. They asked and you listened. You were there for them. In two years, you've done for them more than any real Lauren in centuries. Doesn't that mean anything? <sighs> Remember what Grandpa said? He never was our grandfather. Grandpa said, a king is nothing without his subjects. True wealth lies in the hearts and minds of your people. And yet you want to throw it all away? Just like that? Maybe Karen will be a better ruler. Which wouldn't be all that difficult. A quindung, to put it mildly. The letters are pouring in from all over Rashtil. He's slow to move towards Ascalia itself, but he has already made a huge show in some of the smaller settlements. My favorite part would be when he lynched the proprietor of a local alehouse over trying to charge him for a drink. Truly the mark of a reasonable man. Surely you can feel the unrest even here in the town. Everyone's afraid of what is to come. So they all know? Naturally. Karen is not a subtle person, and, well, you have been rather unsociable these last couple days. They're worried about you, Kay. And they trust you. Will you let that trust down? You're trying to mold me into something I'm not! Who am I to decide? Do you expect me to defy the rightful king of this land? There is a difference between a king and a tyrant. You were there with me, sire. That man does not engender trust. From what I hear, that's putting it mildly. Indeed. Why do you still follow me, Griffith? You were deceived just as we were, if not longer. I swore my oath to a man, not a name. I swore to guard you on everything he stood for. Justice, valor, and benevolence. And throughout all the time spent at your side, watching your actions, I have never regretted that oath. This tale has two endings, but I have no doubt that only one is worthy of the legacy of House Lauren. Yours. Griffith. This is unacceptable. Heinrich is outraged! That man is nothing but a thug. A thug, you hear me? Stay strong, Kay. We'll pave that road with our own hands. Mister, you're not gonna give up without a fight, are you? He's just another bully! We're with you all the way. Everyone. Thank you. I know you! And you all know me! You know, I'm not really used to making these grand corny speeches, even if it's what you're expecting right now. But you also know that so far I haven't let you down. I may not be a Lorne, but right now it doesn't matter. This is my home. Our home. We built it together, bit by bit. It wasn't easy. But we're still afloat. I have no idea what fate holds in store for us. And for all I know, it can get grisly. 
All we can do right now is prepare. But hey, this is it. This is the end game. Let's do this! My, my, how disappointing. Did they just run with tails between their legs? Such a lousy way to welcome their rightful king. We're here! Indeed you are! And I see you brought your fabulous family along. My ladies? Oh, gods, you're even more punchable than I thought. <laughs> you may want to watch your pretty little mouth, miss. Don't talk to Gwen like that! Familial solidarity. Great, cute, and all that. Now hush. Well, did you prepare the castle as I asked you to? We've decided to stay. Thanks. K, K, K. Do we really have to go through this? I mean, I thought as much. That's why I brought some friends along, see? There's more waiting outside. But you know why? Why are you making this harder than it should be? This is mine. All this is mine. Bold words, considering that despite your best knowledge, you have not lifted a finger to restore it. You come for glory and titles, preying on the work that was done for... No, despite you. Harrogate scum! You gorge upon the scraps of a life that was never meant to be yours! You throw all these big words, all these nonsensical platitudes about virtuous conduct, and yet you're so alone. Where are all those people you seemingly champion? Where are the ones I've seemingly wronged? Well, Kay? They're here with me. What's this? A little rebellion against your master? Insolent rabble! They're not rabble. They're my subjects. My people. My friends. Would you just get off your high horse already? <laughs> That's precious. Lecturing me. Really? Foolish curs! Dim-witted, slobbering peasants! Can't you see that you're backing a pretender? A puppet with no fire, no nobility in his veins? But if that is your wish, then so be it. Hear me and hear me well. Any Cretan who sides with him will get crushed by the might of House Lauren. No, they won't. What? Who the hell are you? I am Desideratus of House Lauren, founder of the dynasty. I should probably also say that I'm your late grandfather, but you, Sonny, are no Lauren. So leave this place at once. Grandpa! Uh, th this is insane. You aren't even related. They are nothing but frauds and charlatans who usurp your legacy. You are backing a titleless loafer. I'm backing a man with a heart, and mind your goddamn tone. That's no way to speak to your elders, hmm? Yeah, yeah, what can I say? You owe me. Thank you. Enough! I will not let this cabaret go undisturbed any longer! So you fancy yourself nobles, rulers, kings? You think you know better what being a Loren entails? I've spent years kissing the rears of foreign courts, dreaming of this moment. You dirt-eating knaves will not take this away from me! You and your pathetic supporters will fill the gallows! You hear me? The gallows! Karen of House Lauren, I do not wish you harm, but as long as I'm here, I will not let you lay a finger on these people! Ha! You want to be king? Then come, usurper! Take it from me! Draw! <sighs> Oh, look, he's still spry. You... You think you've won, haven't you? That this is over? Fools! Madmen! This means nothing! Nothing, you hear? Will you shut up already? At this point, you're just embarrassing yourself. <laughs> Let it go, Karen. Leave, and there won't be any bad blood between us. <laughs> I will leave, all right. And return. Next time, nothing will save you. I... I will return with an army of nobles so big, so powerful. <laughs> you...
you will be gutted like the mongrel bunch you are. And there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> there is something, you know. Kay? No. You're not thinking about... Huh? What's this? Uh, wh wh are you going to kill me? Oh my! The tension is killing me! Ah, right. Nah, I won't. This city has seen enough bloodshed already, don't you think? House Lauren or otherwise. <laughs> Weakling! You're signing your death warrant! <sighs> what? Cat got your tongue? I swear. I swear on the legacies that you have claimed as your own. I, Karin of House Lauren, the true heir of Ascalia, will return for what is mine. My, my, my. <laughs> what an interesting turn of events. Would you mind repeating that for the protocol, Mr. Karin Lauren? Mr. Crucy! Oh, from bad to worse. M mr Crucy? What are you doing here? Why, I've come to collect my routine installments. For some reason, no doubt very important and very well documented, I haven't received any written word for you in the last weeks. I came to ensure you shall make the deadline. But it would seem I have stumbled upon some truly astonishing developments. Mr. Karen, was it? Is that true? Are you, in fact, the one true heir? Was it not this man? Mr. Crucy, let me... Shh, shh, shh. Who, who the hell are you? Walter Crucy of the Furtive Union. Now, answer the question, please. Yes, I am. And I cannot abide by this ridiculous nonsense. That man, Kay, is a fraud, an imposter, a pretendant. I am the true king. I demand... I demand legitimacy. I demand acknowledgement of my status in the face of the law. <laughs> Are you sure? Perhaps you should be careful what you wish for. <sighs> After all, we must all abide the law, don't we? As the chief financial representative of the Furtive Union and the custodian of the bygone finances of House Lauren, I declare as follows. All right. All of the current and remaining obligations, which will probably span years till mine, shall be transferred from Sir Kay's family onto your personage. What? 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 I won't say it. It would appear that a horrible, horrible mistake must have taken place. As such, the massive, crippling, and completely unregulated debts of your ancestors have been wrongly assigned to this young man. Naturally, this is all remedied now. With your confession, everything is clear. Also, I would imagine that Sir Kay would want his money back, wouldn't he? In fact, right now he has an extremely strong claim for compensation, should he decide to exercise it before the courts. I also expect you to be as diligent with your payments as your predecessor was. I am sure you will be able to meet the first deadline of, say, next week? What? What? Yes, Mr. Lauren? Is there anything you would like to add? You, you, you can't! This... I... You... Careful now. I would refrain from making threats you cannot back, Mr. Lauren. People were known to vanish for less. So, about that deadline. Are we clear? Hmm. <laughs> Unfortunate. But worry not, we shall exercise our due. We always do. That said, I shall bid you adieu. Have a great day, Mr. K, Miss Gwendolyn, Miss Elaine. Mr. Crucy? Hmm? I never expected to say this, but thank you. Please, have I not told you already once? We're civilized people. I am not a comic book villain, Mr. K. It's just business, nothing more, nothing less. And I respect those who are dependable enough to keep up their ends of the bargain, especially with the odds you were given. 
Congratulations on your new property. Debt free this time. But isn't it technically still Karen's? <laughs> Is it? Oh, I do not know. Ownership is a fickle thing, you see. Claims get forged, papers get lost. Perhaps you worry too much. Additionally, I would imagine he has more pressing issues at the moment. Don't you think? Farewell, Mr. K. Hopefully, for good. Oh, there! I'm actually impressed. That was one fancy, uh, what do you call it? A uh, douche ex machina? Anyway, what you gonna do now, folks? That's a good question, actually. What are we gonna do now? You tell me. You're the king, remember? Uh, right. <laughs> I mean, we're not even House Lauren. Oh, I'm sure we'll figure something out. Don't you worry about that. I mean, just to make sure. We're staying, right? Of course. It's home. Indeed, it is. But in the meantime, let us make it official. All hail, King K! All hail, Escalia! Hail! hail! All hail, hail King, King K! Hey guys, thanks for standing with me. I am honored that you would have me as your king. And you'll make a good one, too. So, uh, is it over? Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, you can all go back to your homes now. Thanks. Uh... Well, gotta start working on that new house name. A new coat of arms would be wise, too. Oh! I might have a few ideas. So do I. Great! Let's hit the drawing board. This is going to be disastrous, isn't it? And so ends the story of a man whose deeds echoed stronger than his blood. Despite the countless seemingly insurmountable obstacles, silly or otherwise, Ascalia rose from the ashes, its warm, hopeful light shining across Rashtil once again. Naturally, not everything that followed was happy or epic. Or, well, well, didn't even make sense. But such is life and tales need not imitate it. And for as long as Escalia stands, its people shall look to the past and remember, gleaming with pride. They shall remember the time when among them walked both men and monarchs.
Count Roderick's greatest wealth. You know, Griffith, it's funny how we've completely forgotten about this. True, I still cannot wrap my head around the fact. I also cannot imagine why, apparently, Karen made no use of it. Especially now, given his current situation. Huh, think it's empty? His words seemed to suggest otherwise. Well, only one way to find out. What the hell? Hmm. Is that... are those... Well... Are those... bottle caps? <laughs>